the journey of life is from the head to the heart, from somebody to nobodyness. It's a journey from oneness to fragmentation, back to oneness. In all of the different states, be it the observer, the observed, the observation, it is all one thing. Unity consciousness. It's the same way you have one hand and many different fingers. One body with many different functions. It's all one. In oneness, there's spacious presence. Spacious presence is undifferentiated. It's not divided in sections. It only appears to be split up with a non-dual consciousness. But since everything is one and everything is present, most of the time, as an individuated expression of that oneness, when we live our lives as the person bound by the space-time construct, we overlook the true unseen reality behind all appearances. When you are locked into ego consciousness, you are locked in a limited state of being where you're only seeing a partial perception. You're not seeing things in the context of the whole. And when people are in that state, they lose sight of themselves. There's very little to no presence that's there. They are run by the unconscious. So when two people get together, who's relating to whom? Since the real authentic selves has been blocked, it's only our personalities. The surface is relating to one another, but they are not present. They are not really there. Their ego is relating. This is what we call ego-based relationships. Relationships based on roles, expectations, conditions. When you're locked into personhood, you are locked into time. And time is the greatest killer of your personal self. That's why it's important to transcend time and stay on the level of presence where you are alive, when you are free. You are no longer locked into your interpretation of reality because you are living your truth. And that's what's most important. Love happens when both are present in presence. Love cannot connect if there's a barrier. It can only flow when there is a bridge, and that bridge is present moment awareness. Staying on the level of being. That's what we have to start moving into the direction of. When you move into the heart, you're moving into that nameless, unmanifested field of universal organizing intelligence. You use your body and mind as an avatar to experience contrast, but it doesn't use you. You use your mind, but it doesn't use you. You are in the control seat as opposed to being the passenger while the ego is the driving force of your reality, which is the false conceptual identity. So it's important to bring ourselves back into that space of universal love, agape. Once that takes place, then you are home because the home is where the heart is. That's your truest center, your essence identity. And this is what the universal teachings are pointing to. This is where we must move into the direction of being present in that state. That's what being in the flow is.